Farming is incredibly important in balloons, and we're going to cover what the best farm order is and why. Initially, a banana farm costs $13.50 and produces 4 bananas per round worth 20 bucks each. This isn't very much, but it pays itself off in 16.875 rounds. From here, you have four choices to accelerate your income. You can go any of the three paths or get a new banana farm. Luckily, this choice is super easy. You should get increased production. This will make the farm grow two extra bananas each round, effectively increasing its output by 50% and only costs 540 bucks. So it is less than half of what another banana farm would cost. It makes the same amount as half a banana farm and you get it earlier so it starts paying itself off sooner. But a 100 farm will pay itself off in 15.75 rounds. Once again, we are presented with the same four options and it is just as easy this time around. We will select greater production which will grow two more bananas per round and cost $650. Now we have a 200 banana farm that produces as much as two base banana farms, costs less than two farms, it has that incremental step of the first upgrade, and it has the lowest cost to entry per payout of the three paths. This is why you see people going a bunch of 200 farms early in Blunarius. But a 200 farm pays itself off in 15.875 rounds, and anything after that is profit. When you compare this to the other two paths, you can see why this is such an easy choice. The middle path doesn't give you more money until you get the valuable bananas, but that is an investment of $1,190 and only gives you a 25% increase in money. And the bottom path doesn't make any more until the tier 3 upgrade, which is good, but it costs $3,615 to get that increase in production, and it just isn't worth the time needed to save up for that. Now that we have a bunch of 200 farms, what do we do? Now this really depends on your goals. If it is Blunarius and you need as much money as possible, you should go the top path banana farms as they scale the best. But let's say you're playing on hard or unpoppable and you're only going to round 80 or 100 and you want a decent amount of money to make it easy. In this case, you'll probably want to stop after the third tier as anything more than that is overkill for a run like this. So let's say you go the top path. You would be getting banana plantation which doubles the banana output to 16 bananas per round. This upgrade costs $3,240 and you start making $320 a round, which pays itself off in around 18 rounds. Now at this point, you should cross path it with a 320 as the valuable banana's 25% increase is now worth it, making it produce $400 a round and it pays itself off in 17.425 rounds. Now this is pretty nice, an extra $400 per round per farm will make hard earned poppable runs much easier, but there are much better ways. Now one of these better ways is the bottom path. Getting a marketplace from a 200 farm is fine. All three upgrades in the bottom path will cost you $3,615 and it'll make you $400 a round. It'll pay itself off in 15.3 rounds and it auto collects, which is super nice. The one aggravating part about this is that if you have the more valuable bananas monkey knowledge point, it is better to go with a 023 marketplace as it will make you $416 a round and pay itself off half a round earlier. Now, this isn't the most efficient round, but the ease of collection is a strong point for it. But ladies and gentlemen, there is a third option. The one path to rule them all, the banana bank. Even after countless nerfs, this guy is unstoppable. It flows seamlessly from a 200 farm into a 230 bank, and it will generate tons of cash. Now this will run you quite a bit. From a 200 farm, getting it to a 230 bank will cost you an extra 4,970 bucks. But if you just let it keep going until it's full, it'll pay on average $791 a round and paying itself off in 9.5 turns. Yes, the first farm to pay itself off in under 10 rounds. Now this varies with monkey knowledge, but that is incredibly powerful. Not only does it make more per round than the other options, it also pays itself off faster, which is a win-win. I normally go with two banks in impoppable runs and it still gives you way too much money. Honestly, it probably should be nerfed again, but who am I to say? Now, the numbers are clear that if you want the best start, you should go with 200 farms. From there, you have access to whatever you want. If you want a relaxing game, go with marketplaces. If you're trying to beat Blunarius, go crazy with 420s in a village. But if you're just doing a normal run and you are looking for the most bang for your buck, get 230 banana banks and you should easily win. Plus, you can get infinite money with a 050 monkeynomics if you continue down that route.